Hey, welcome back to another snippet tutorial. Today we're going to have a look at some tips and tricks for UV mapping to make your life easier. So the first tip is, let's say you have multiple objects and you want to arrange them or align them. Select them all in your UV map and head over to arrange and layout and just click the arrows and as you will see they will align nicely. Alright, let's say you have a complex shape like this pipe right over here. What you want to do is head over to create and go to planar. And then what you want to do is stretch out the planar, rotate it accordingly. So you have the top, there we go. Drag this over here, then head F10 and double click this line here. Hold shift, right click the line and go to cut. Then hit F11, double click to select everything and we unfold. And there you go. If you want to straighten the selection up as well, just click on straighten your feet with U and V both turned on and you should have your result. All right, let's say you have two exact same UV maps or you want to stack some shells. What you want to do is select your cells, head over to arrange and layout, click on stack shells and to orientate them properly, hit orient shells and there you go. If you want more options on the tool, instead of heading to modify, unfold and tick in the little box right here, what you can do is hold shift and click any button here and it will open the same menu. Another useful feature for hard surface in wrapping is the auto seams button right here. So let's say you mark these edges here as hard lines. Then you can just click auto seams and there you go. Wherever there are hard edges, it will cut them right there. Another cool feature in Maya is the cut tool. As you can see, it gives a pretty cool animation, but as you can see as well, it deforms your UVs. So what you want to do is hit shift, go to the options, and set the cut open ratio to zero. And now when we use the cut tool, it won't deform our UVs. Now let's say you used the cut tool and you want to get rid of it. What you can do is go head over to this tool here, the suit tool, click over there, and everything will be selected within the circle will be zoomed. What you can do as well is hold B, hold left mouse button and drag in and out. And as you can see, the circle will get bigger or smaller. When working on a game or UV mapping, always make sure you use the right texture density. This can be found on the transform texture density. You can either set your own or get the texture density and then click set and it should be fine. If you want an in-depth tutorial on this, I would be happy to make one. Uh, just let me know in the comments.